Hey y'all, it's Leslie, and I'm here today to show you a project that I made. Um, I, this is for a design team for Arabella's Heart for Book Art. And you guys, she's got some printable um, journal kits and um, printable papers, and they are divine. And I have made a journal, and I will show you that in just a moment. But let me go ahead and show you some of the papers. So the the papers that I, she's got several kits already. And um, the ones that I used <clears throat> was the My Vintage Journal. And this is um, one of the papers of it with the, the lavender. I actually accidentally used this upside down. But, you know, that's the beauty of her papers is they are gorgeous either way. <laughs> so that's gorgeous. Here's another one. Isn't that beautiful? They're so subtle and subdued because she's used um, some layering techniques with them. And then there's this one. And look at that lace and those edges. Isn't that just oh, so gorgeous? And then that is probably one of my favorite papers. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is definitely, look at those corners. Yeah, and I love the, the ledger paper on top of the rose there. And so that's my vintage junk journal. And um, she's very reasonably priced. Um, so, and I'll include a link below. The, I also used, um, this is the five PNG pretty tea dyed and coffee dyed papers. And um, so this is one. And this is the one that's got the brown edges, you'll see. And then there's one. Um, like this with the bubbles or the circles for color and this would have the rose in it. I didn't use this one and, and I think it's because when I printed them I misplaced them. So if you could see the state of my desk. Oh, it's crazy. I use this. It's just so this is fabric, like a, a vintage fabric napkin thing. Do you see this here? It was. Yeah, it's just so beautiful, and then I use this one. Now, you'll notice how these are printing, how they're printing with the white on the edges. You can print this two ways. One way is printing this um, just as it comes, and when you do that, it's going to print, and for example, with these corners, uh, she has these set up as A4, and for the United States, for eight and a half by 11, when you would print it, these corners would be cut off. So what I do is I click the fit to page so it makes everything fit to the size of my page and it shrinks it down. Well, all I do is I just trim it down and my goodness, it just makes everything fit perfectly. So it's not a problem at all. Oh, one other thing that I used, this is the five ephemera add-on, and look at these tags and ephemera, and I just fussy cut out all these roses and tags, and it's just gorgeous, and these little, this little, I mean, little booklets, and these tags. Again, she's used some um, uh, fabric and, and sewing, uh, layering, on there. Look at the the jars. You know me. I had to use the jars, girl. I am. Oh, did I show the rest of it? I don't think I did. Look at that. Did I show the rest of this one? Sorry. Um. But isn't it beautiful? See, I lost. I lost that too. There was. Listen. I might include a picture of the state of my desk at the end of the video, and you will see too many projects going on trying to get through. Okay, so here we go. This is this is the um, um, journal that I made, and it is for Arabella's Heart for Book Art, so I had to include a little heart charm here on the cover and one down here at the bottom. I made it, made it in a traveler's notebook style. Uh, of binding so my um, uh, signatures are in with elastic uh, bindings so that I can take those out and I will do a, a tutorial on how to do the binding at a later date if you are interested you'll just have to leave me a message below uh, in the comments uh, I glued a um, 
flower onto a little piece of this material, which I'll tell you in just a moment, and um, wove it through the elastic, wove the elastic through it, and just put a piece of um, lace over the top just to make it look pretty. Um, but you're you're like, well, what is this um, clear with the flowers on it? Y'all, it was a Dollar Tree folder, just a school folder that you put papers in, and I cut it in half and cut the pocket off, just, just cut it here with a pocket and cut all that off, and I was able to cut the part with the, the holes in it off, and I had that left over. And, um, well, this is a part in between the holes, but that's what this is. But you see how I, I just um, did the elastic through the plastic and then there, and then just put the um, lace over that just to kind of make it cute and glued that flower on just because I thought, well, gosh, that just matches perfectly. And I hope I'm back at the top. Nope, I'm not. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so I left my covers plain because I thought it was so pretty and I wanted, and the, one of the reasons I chose this is because I loved this. This is one of my, uh, my favorite pages again, and so I just wanted it to show. So I left these plain with no pockets. I didn't do any lining on the inside of the covers, specifically so that these papers could show. When you open it, I've added a library pocket that's um, ephemera from my mom. It's got an ephemera library card in it, and then um, one of the tags from Arabella, and I just added a little lace and seam binding at the top, and just made the uh, library pocket be a um, pocket when I glued it on. This is another tag from the um, collection from um, Arabella. This is the paper that's upside down. You can see my uh, lavender is going upside down, but again, it's not a problem because it's such a beautiful paper and it's it's layered in such a way that we're okay. We're not okay, but I will say that I'm okay. <laughs> we can't do perfect. We got to be okay. Here is some washi that I found that was in my collection that just seemed to match nicely. Um, an old piece of calendar page I added in some of the um, coffee dyed papers that she has. This is some of my coffee dyed papers that I laid a doily on top. Um, some journal page. This is just a sewn card that I had done. This is some of the paper th the, of Arabella's and what I did was I just cut some of them. Um, sometimes I printed it twice so that I could use it as an envelope or use it as a you know, booklet, and then sometimes I did it so that I could, um, you know, cut it out and use it for different elements, and I just thought that would be a beautiful page element, and I added it to this coffee stain page. I had some um, cardstock that just seemed to bring out the greens from the, the collection, and I just absolutely love that. It was a accidental find on my desk. <laughs> It just happened to be laying across it, and I just fell in love with it. Made a little circle here that tucks this flip. And again, some more washi that I found in my humongous stash. This beautiful paper I have um, cut around, um, allowing that beautiful edge she does to show. This is a piece of her um, five ephemera. No, this is a piece of her yeah five ephemera add-on. And I just fussy cut that out and added it. Another piece of coffee dyed paper, and I added a lace tab. Some um, uh, coffee dyed pattern paper, and I just added a little uh, kindness and hope, and I made it a flip. Here's another piece from her collection. I made a pocket out of it to put in a little stamped card. And actually, this is a piece that it is a, it does like this. It goes, folds here and there and here. 
and and then you know it makes a little booklet well i just put this side on this side to make a pocket and then i thought you know what that's going to be a great flip out and then since i'm and i made this be a pocket for this teeny tiny little envelope this was a piece of um yeah a piece of scrap i had left over and i just used my envelope cut punch board and cut it and made this teeny tiny little it's just scraps scrap of washi even and then put the little rose on here um and let the leaves be the closure can you see that yeah and so i tuck that inside there isn't that cute i should have it that way so, no, uh, let's go back to generosity because it's cute Okay, and then here is another piece of coffee dyed paper. This is one of the ones that I lay on top of a platter that's got a print and it um, gives an impression. So that's got some texture to it. Here's one of Arabella's papers, some coffee dyed notebook paper, coffee dyed paper, um, index card, one of Arabella's papers. This is one of the ones, a larger, ver I mean a smaller version of what I just put over the edge. There we go. Here's a jar, and this one, you open the um, ribbon, and inside there is a flip that flips all the way. And that's so cool. And then it tucks inside the belly band. I'll do that again in a minute. Another coffee dyed paper. This laid on some, um, <clears throat> a lined dish and made some lines. Beautiful paper from Arabella. This I made a little um, tuck and um, just made a little tag with some extra under there. Put the word family. This is a little glassing bag I had and I used some of the pieces from Arabella. And it's just beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? That's one of my favorite pieces too. Just exquisite. I mean, it takes my breath away, the, the beauty and detail that she's done. This this flips back so that you can um, do here. And it also, you could tuck something under here. I love this little edge that I managed to get here. Um, when you are um, uh, punching holes in something, or punching detailed holes in something very thin, like this paper that I was using, um, if you put another piece of paper with it, it will punch better. And this is Arabella's paper too. Sorry about that. And then here's this paper. And I fussy cut it out so that it would come around on this edge. And, and it's tucks on both sides. And that's a flip open. Isn't that gorgeous? I added a little rose to the edge. Her, her collection is so gorgeous, it just does its own thing. This said my vintage junk journal, but I, I added this little typewriter gratitude list there just to cover that up because I didn't want it on this page. Added a little lace edge, the doily memories. This, here is a piece that I just have clipped on with the charm, and it's just clipped. This one's clipped here. Sorry about the slamming door. And um, then some more of this paper here. And this is a piece that, I, again, I laid a doily uh, stencil on with the uh, washi. And there's the other part of that beautiful paper. Here's a piece where I, it's a piece of fabric, and I just uh, glued on a piece of her roses, and I thought that was just a beautiful little flip. And then on this side is the other part of that fabric flip. And this is just something from my stash. And I just made it be a fa fabric flip. Um, more of her. And then one of those stunning tags. That beautiful, beautiful paper she does. Look at this. That's so pretty back there. Arabella, I just... I mean, it takes my breath, and then I just, um, again, I just have these in with the um, elastic, and there's the love there. 
And this is another one that's just so stunning. So again, I just didn't want to mess with the covers too much. I just think they're just so beautiful. And these two can be swapped in reverse because they're in this elastic. Here, I just added a piece on top of a piece of um, tea dye paper and that way I could um, make it be a pocket. This is an index card that I stamped with a seed company and just added a little ink to give it a blush. This is her um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And I cut it with some deckle edge scissors. This um, side is about the same, except I used a few of the, the other papers here, like this one. And I may have put pages in a little differently. Um, but they are basically the same. This is had a stencil of a hydrangea on it. But it is, like I said, basically the same. There's not much difference. I fussy cut this out. I just, I love that. That's some of that, um, this is that sorry ribbon I have. It's just so pretty. See, this is what that, my vintage junk journal, isn't that just gorgeous? I just love that placard. And then this is a stamped card. I, I cut one of those flowers and put it on that green. It just made it show up so much better. I was going to put it on this paper and it just, oh, it's stunning, Arabella. Stunning. Takes my breath. Look at this. I added it to a piece of this paper on the edge and it just sticks over and it's just so beautiful. Look at that lace in there. You see that? Look at that detail. So gorgeous. Mm. And then I just stuck a little piece. It's a folded piece here. In this pocket. And then here's a little pocket. And I put another one of hers. And I, I added a little piece of lace here just to keep this um, tucked closed. And um, apparently I glued it closed. There we go. Um, rounded the corners a little bit. And the thing flips out. I did not want an inch of that to be um, covered. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to undo those edges a little bit. No, wait, there we go. Maybe my fingers just aren't working on this best thing. Nope, there we go. See? My fingers aren't working. There we go. And then over here, I have a circle um, of the screen. And what it is, is it's a paper clip. And you take that off. It says Faith. I added another heart. Again, Arabella's heart for art. Arabella, you're all over this book. It's just so gorgeous. Um, uh, laid a doily on top of this paper when it was tea dyed. And um, these papers can then go back together. Like... Um, Yes, it goes in between the two papers, um, two circles, just like that. And then look at this. I just love this page with this. Just, It's just so gorgeous. So I printed things twice so I could use them. Look at this. And when it's fussy cut, isn't that just the most beautiful element? I mean, it's just, it just shows so, so pretty. And then I just stamped, it's nothing. Look at her gorgeousness. And then I added lace to the edge. This is just a sprayed coffee spray and um, then some, um, maybe some Tim Holtz reinker spray. Oh, no, I know what that is. Um, you take your Tim Holtz ink pad, um, put it on your, um, <coughs> your mat, and then um, add a little water to it and take a paintbrush or your fingers and do like that. I use my fingers. See, this is where the <laughs> paper is going right side up, and you can see that beautiful, beautiful lavender. Isn't that gorgeous? I wish I could grow lavender here. It's so gorgeous. Isn't that so pretty? And it just blends so well with her paper. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Here's another piece of fabric. Flip. And I added a little rose there. Journal, more textured paper, 
more of the textured paper. You can see the rose on this one. It's more of that hydrangea paper, but look at her roses. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. This is a piece that I had cut off and it was left over and it's you know, her papers were so pretty that I had to put it on. So I just added a piece of this sorry ribbon to the top of this paper to make a flip so I could show it with that. With her tea dye. And there's that paper again. The layers and depth are just so gorgeous. This is on a coffee dyed um, notebook paper that got a little too much coffee dye and all the lines went away and it's very fragile. Isn't that gorgeous? And um, the tea dye paper with this edge is just, I don't know, the eyelid edge is just my favorite anyway and the tea dye paper with it is, you got me there. But look at this, isn't that sweet? Her papers are just absolutely stunning. And then this doily, I, I hung off the edge as a tab, but it also flips so you can write here. And then here is this that I've glued on this side, um, um, fussy cut it and glued on this side, and then it's glued on this side, and it's just being another decorative element here. Isn't that beautiful? I cut all the fussy cut flowers out and I put them in a bowl and then when I got through I just went in and added where there wasn't a flower and it needed a flower I was added in. Here's another little tag. Friends. Arabella Friends. And then here's a, another little glassing bag that I've got her little tag in. Isn't that so stinking cute? And that's her edges. Now, I did it on the back, but that's her dark edges. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So, I did it in this little pocket. And then, here's one of my little Franken tags, raggedy tags, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and I cut, cut this paper. Actually, I tore this one all the way around. And um, tried to follow her little guide that she had done. And it's just so pretty. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Just yellow leaves. That red, deep red. It's a deep maroon, wine colored flower. Just gorgeous. Here's another one of those um, jar things but this time I didn't do the paper on the inside I just did it this way and it doesn't close with the tie it just you know I'm trying to change it up make things similar with two signatures but change it up enough so it's not exactly the same here's another library pocket this one at the end um, I added washi over the top here the library card is still in here and then you have I had to do the library card in here because I, when I did the pocket in the back, it's not wide enough for either one of these elements. But here is um, this piece, like this, but I folded it to make it be a little booklet. But again, since I was putting it in this library pocket with the library card, I didn't want it to be too bulky to for you to be able to put stuff in. So I couldn't add the papers on the inside to make this a booklet like I wanted. But... There it is. And there we finish again with her beautiful paper. Isn't that just so gorgeous? Look at that. So, Arabella, I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this project. I cannot tell you how much I... It was just so much fun to to sit there and cut all these exquisite designs out and um, and and glue them and look at them. And I wish I could go back and find some of these that I've lost. But I can cut these again and I've got another project that, you know, right here in my hands, of course. And just, I want you to know that 
these were just so darling to use and I've just thoroughly enjoyed it and they're just it it's just beautiful beautiful and you are a beautiful person and I have enjoyed it so much that um <clears throat> being on your design team and I thank you so much everyone for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed it um, please go by Arabella's um, YouTube channel. Um, she's got more of these uh, uh, printables that you can see there. Um, there's definitely more of her design team. There's Tina over at Starting Over. Oh, goodness. There's um, another lady. I forgot her name. And then there's Bobby at Bobby's Creations and more. And... Um, of course, Arabella is creating. So there's so many people that um, are creating um, using this um, just beautiful, beautiful products. So if you would just go by and say hey to them. And um, I will link Arabella's shop below so that you can um, see her projects, uh, or products and just be blown away just like I am. And I hope that you will subscribe to me if you haven't and i hope that you will visit arabella and tell her hi and i thank you all for stopping by bye